Hello and welcome to the channel, YouTube world. Let's just get right into it. MLB The Show 20 version 1.04 is now live. Gameplay fixed an issue that caused the button accuracy throw meter to get stuck in the red following a specific bullpen operation. Increase to hitting difficulty in Diamond Dynasty. Ooh, that won't be good for me. Fewer checked swings will hit the ball into play. Pitch speed slider has more range. And when swinging early on, an outside pitch, fly balls, and line drives that would be labeled rolled over will now be label, labeled out in front. And that's it. And as always, like I said, the reason I make these videos, let's be honest, they get more views than my gameplay videos by a long mile. And I also like to read patch notes. I used to be very lazy, didn't want to read them. And then one day as a joke, I was like, oh, a big patch came out. Let's just narrate them off the page because, you know. That's original, but it's like the news. It's not like I'm going to try and reword this in my own words. So I'm plagiarizing off a piece of paper, if you will, or off the patch notes that you can read for yourself. So on a PS4, for the most part, you can do that. You can just go to update history on any game, and it'll generally tell you a lot of stuff. But in the instance of, like, WWE 2K19 and many other games, it's a bit of a flawed system because it doesn't tell you much. And when you go and you research the... Um, the updates online, sorry, you can get a lot of information. Like, again, this game, oh my goodness, has it gotten a lot of patches. So that's why I, I do it. It's not necessarily because I don't think you can look it up. It's because maybe you don't feel like reading. Maybe you don't even know the update is out. Maybe you're having a cup of coffee, you're taking a shit for all I know. And then you find out, because, you know, I'm just so popular with 4,000 subs, you're like, oh, wow, there's an update to this game. Oh, cool, I didn't know that. You go and check it out. It, it improves the game in a couple of areas that was driving you nuts. And I think that's really the main reason why I make these videos, honestly. It's not because I get more views than the gameplay. That's the second reason. Number one reason is people review video games, and that's it. They don't ever talk about it ever again. They'll play it. They'll rant and scream and... You know, do all that silly, goofy shit that gets quite fucking tiring if you ask me. But they don't re-review the game. They don't keep up with the game to let you know how it's dynamically changing over time. To me, that's huge. Because that can make or break a game that was either good to begin with and became bad or vice versa. Or just was good and got even better over time. Kind of like Days Gone. Is it a perfect game? No, but compared to a year ago, my goodness, is that thing amazing. Leave it to me to turn a 15-second long video into a 15-minute rant. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. And uh, there won't be any John Wick coming your way this time. No, it'll just be me with a typical old aluminum Louisville slugger. And I'll just swing at your nuts. Simple as that. And it's aluminum, so it can't accidentally break off. It's full impact there. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, even though you might sound like uh, the lead singer from the Bee Gees, which at the top of my head, I forget his name, Barry Gibbs, I think. Uh, yeah, exactly. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally, that would be great. And if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, or whatever it is you identify as. And I shall see you all in the next video. Bye now.